really don't want to make a video today. Oh. Hi! I'm giving you a slightly different angle this week so you can see my breakfast nook and my bar and the window to my pool and all the boxes! Oh, boxes. I love boxes, especially when they're filled with all my junk. This is writing week, and we are here to talk about tenses. And first, I would like to take a moment to give KL her due applause. Because KL was a true 5.0 nerd, and she talked about the subjunctive mode, which is pretty nerdy. She also established a challenge that someone write a story in the subjunctive mode, and uh, I'm eager to see if anyone takes up that challenge, because I think it could be interesting. I'm mostly going to talk about the past and present tense and how they are used effectively, because I don't think that people consider the fact that your verb tense really tells a lot of information about your story. For example, if your story is written in past tense and you have a first-person narrator, you know that at the end of the story, the first-person narrator is going to be alive. Because unless a character can speak from beyond the grave, they have to be alive to tell the story in past tense. If it is in present tense, then you don't know if the character dies or not, because they maybe don't survive. Of course, writers, what you do need to make sure is that there is no story after the character dies, or else that just gets really awkward. I think past tense is very useful if you're going to tell a long story. Present tense is really good for striking a chord and getting into the moment and making everything feel immediate. But present tense lacks a little bit because it doesn't have reflection. In a past tense story, you can have your character think a lot about how events affected him or what he might have thought would happen in the future or what actually happened in the future. In present tense, you can't really go forward in the character's timeline. You can suppose, you can all subjunctive mode, Kale, but you can't actually say, later she became my wife because there's no later yet. One of my friends critiqued one of my stories and sent me two notes. First person, present tense. I had chosen the wrong point of view and verb tense for a story. When I changed it to first person present tense, it made everything different. It was more immediate for the reader. It was more obvious why the events in the story were so dramatic for this character. It made the character come alive. It just was exactly what the story needed. I had just chosen the wrong point of view in verb tense. So that was a really good lesson for me when I learned that you have to choose the right point of view in verb tense and that they're very important for a story. So I hope you've enjoyed my little brief look at past and present. And I hope you are looking forward to my Dragon Con video coming up because I'm looking forward to it and uh, we still have two weeks until that video. But I get to go next week. Yay! See you next week.